Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's now time for player ratings. This is going to be an interesting one. We've got Julian showing us the player ratings today with Robbie. Right, right, well. At the moment, yeah. I'm keeping one eye yeah. on that Chelsea. Yeah, that's why I'm stood here. Yeah. 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 If Julian's got the view of the they team. One nil, they won't hold on to it. Yeah. You know what it's like. You are but blocking me a little bit. Just move to the right. Just taking a piss, man. You know what I mean? You invited him on in. We need to have this grief in Ghana, you know what I mean? Yeah, innit? Let's get straight into it. I'm going to come to. Let's start with Robbie for David Raya. What do you give him today? Yeah, played really well today. Um, he's getting more and more confident with every game. His distribution again today was fantastic. You know what I mean? Trying to start attacks quick. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought I'm going to give him an eight today. Yeah, really well. Sheet. Played really well. Clean sheet again away from home. Eight. Missed your famous line. Didn't have much to do today. That's the he, he, he didn't have much to do, but I just liked the way he distributed, um, distributed the ball, moved it around very confident, you know what I mean? And it's a clean sheet. Yeah, but let's come to you, June. You asked me off camera, what would I give this player's rating? But you're gonna, give it, you're gonna do it. Ben White, what would you, you know, rate him today? What about Raya? No, no, yeah, oh, no, 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 do you yeah, agree? No, but I, I, agree. I think eight is, a, do you agree with eight? I would give seven purely for one reason. It's nothing to do with Raya's fault. He didn't actually have a shot to save. Burnley had zero shots so on target. Yeah, but everything yeah, but he did, everything he did in the game today, to distribution wise, when the ball was played back to him, was perfection. Eight. Yeah, it was, but it's a bit like giving a substitute a really high mark that didn't really get a chance well, to touch the ball. I oh, no, I didn't give him a low mark, I gave him a seven. Because oh, everything, me, everything he did, he did well, but he didn't have the opportunity to get a higher mark, that's all I'm saying. He didn't have a shot to save. Didn't have a, didn't have a shot to save, but everything he did was perfect. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Overall, it's going to be an eight. We're going to go to Ben That's White. How it works. That's how it works. I have the final say. But Ben White for you, Julian. I'd give him a seven. I thought he did okay. Overlapped, overlapped yeah. well. Um, yeah, it was steady, steady seven. Nothing, nothing wonderful. He didn't stand out, but he did, he did well. Seven for me. I give him an eight as well. I thought he played really well. There was a couple of times we mopped up. Um, there was one time I think it was. Uh, it was Saliba or Gabriel made a little error. He mopped up, came in, mopped up, overlapped brilliantly. Really, really sound game. Eight. We've just won five nil away from home at, at Burnley. Not a lot of players are going to get eights from me and above. I was going to say it depends on what the rest of the defenders get. If I yeah. go to Julian's rating or, or yours, Roy, but I'll, we'll, we'll stick with eight for now just to see what you're going to go with mm. for Gabriel Magalhães. Um, eight as well. I'm, eight. Yeah, yeah, because um, he had a little moment right at the start of the game. Right, and then that was when he was helped out by the other defenders. Yeah. But then after that, solid. Um, absolutely solid. They defended brilliantly. They, Burnley didn't get a sniff. Um, clean sheet, 5-0 away from home. They worked. They, you could see as well. They were working to make sure they kept that clean sheet. Eight. Well, on the basis that I missed this moment, so I'm not sure what it was, everything I, I saw from him was absolutely tremendous. Mm. So I'm going to give him a nine. Yes, and I, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, Robbie, so you, that yeah. little moment was right at the start. I, I, I it was, the it was, it was, what, what was yeah. the moment? He, he, he got run out by um, the winger. He did. Oh, he did. yeah. He did. The, I mean, the view that I had, I couldn't see that mm. uh, particular corner. So I didn't quite see what happened. <laughs> you couldn't see it. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You like your view now? Yeah, it's a bit like my view, slightly obscured by the, right. a rather large obstruction. Oh, wow, wow, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, I'm going to no, no, go. No, I'm talking about the Burnley Post. Oh, okay, okay. On. I'm going to go we're gonna overall with nine because he was the aggressor today. I think he was superb. We're going to yeah. go to William Saliba, Julian. All right, I'm going to give him a seven because I can't give him anything lower and I wouldn't want to, but he did quite a few misplaced passes, especially in the first half. I counted four or five. I thought he played all right, man. I thought he played all right, solid. Part of the partnership, clean sheet. You know, a couple of times, a couple of their players tried to get round him, couldn't. Eight. It's, it's more to do with the high standards that you normally see from him. When he makes a mistake, it, 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 it just I identify with it a lot more because I'm just not used to him making mistakes. He just made a few misplaced passes. I think seven's harsh. I think eight's I, I'm going eight. Yeah, I think I've overall eight. Let's go to our left back, Jakob Kivior, Robbie. I thought he had a good game as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's the, um, you know, because they, they had that guy up. 47. They had that guy up front. Yeah. Is it Fofana? He was all right. Yeah, David Fofana. Like, yeah, yeah, he was a handful, man. But they marshaled him and dealt with him really well. And he was a big part of that. Um, eight for Kivior as well. Wow, OK, eight. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I'd agree with that, eight. I thought Kivior played well. Since um, Arteta's allowed him not to invert, yeah, I think true. we've seen a lot more from him. Because he defends. He's a good defender. And he's playing a game of defending rather than being in midfield. And that's his position. Play a player of that quality in the right position, he does well. Give him a night. Okay, fair, fair results for the back line there. I think they're very good and, and well spoken. Let's go into midfield. Declan Rice, Julian. 
nine, at, 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 at least a nine. Um, I can't quite give him a ten. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard to give him a ten because of the quality of the opposition he played against. Because he's so much better and they were so poor, it's very difficult to give him a 10. If it was a better opposition and he played that kind of performance, I'd have to give him a 10. I don't know it, he was faultless. I don't know if it's the opposition because it was a 10 out of 10 performance, but you, it's hard. I, I think, what are, you, what are you saying to that? Is it a 9, is it a I'm 10? I'm probably going to give him a 9, but he, if, he, if he'd have given him a 10, I'd agree. He was brilliant. Yeah. He, absolutely brilliant. Did you see that time when he just came in <laughs> and that little sliding tackle at the end? He was everywhere, mopped up everything drove forward is some of his passing today as well the way he was just spraying the ball around I mean that's why you pay the money that's why when we was talking about the Mbappe thing I'm like I pay it because that's what you get the highest quality um and in that defensive midfielder position Rodri better no one else right now for me in in the league he's he's brilliant okay so a nine there for Declan Rice Robbie I'll come back to you for our captain today Martin Odegaard this could be this could be, this could be a ten. I, 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 I I'm gonna give him a I'm gonna give him a ten. You know, I, I, I thought today he was just he controlled the game. He controlled the midfield, the way he was just just running around, spraying the ball around. He scored the the opening goal, great finish. His passing, but not only that, what's underrated from him is pressing, yeah, it's a leading the press, sprinting into every press through the full absolutely, night. Absolutely, in the full night, absolutely brilliant performance by him today he is an absolutely brilliant player earlier on in the season some people were like casting doubt on yeah. on, on, on blows I'm like, cold, I'm, like, hides. I'm, like, I'm like he's going through a little lull wouldn't even say he was poorly off form but today he was brilliant uh, he's my man of the match today oh wow I mean, probably it's, it's either him or we'll get to the other player later but 10, Ten. yeah can you give half marks no we don't do half marks here then I'll for, for, for consistency, saying about uh, the rice got a nine. Captain, I, yeah, I, captain I, of the team as well. Yeah, I, I, well. Look, if I could, if I could give, a, if I could give a half mark, I'd give nine and a half, and then you round it up to a ten. <laughs> it's always, so it's always a ten. ten. Yeah, it's yeah. always yeah. difficult, isn't it? It's, it's difficult because. To me, he was, no, just a, he was just as effective as Rice and I only gave Rice a nine. I just feel for no, consistency. Nah, he's better than Rice. Yeah. And he just, scored as well. Yeah, yeah. So, and um, the most crucial is the first goal. Important goal. Uh, to me, ten. Ten. Yeah. I think ten's fair. Uh, Sorry. Uh, all right, I'll agree. Mm. Trossard. Nine. I thought he was excellent. I thought he was really, really excellent. Um, you know, there was all this stuff about we need a striker during January and you must have a striker. And to me, we've got two or three players that can play that position very effectively mm. and Trossard's absolutely one of them. Nine, high mark there. Yeah, probably a nine as well, you yeah. know, because a, a great, another goal from him. You know, you, you know, he reminds me a lot of um, Jota at, 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 at yeah. Liverpool. The way he's just like, you know, people don't talk about him enough, but he just props up with goals and he's finishing, he's clinical, you know what I mean? And he's giving me that vibes like Jota now, yeah. you know what I mean? He, he's, he's, uh, He's a very good player, very, very good player, and he played well today. Nine. Nine. Robbie, coming back to you for this one. Bakayo Saka. I think that's a 10 again. I thought he was superb today. Two goals in the game, running them ragged. You know, um, brilliant. Brilliant. I'm, I'm man of the match, I'm giving to Odegaard, but I'm giving him a 10 again. Again, another player that some people are saying, oh, I don't know, man, he's not. Give him time. It's a season. A season is from August to May. Yeah. It's not like a month in a season, you know what yeah. I mean? Yes, you, you know what I mean, he did have a dip, for sure he had a dip, but he's come back strong. What did he do in Dubai? Because he's come back like a man possessed. Yeah, amen to that. I want to see your thoughts on this, because you said Odegaard 9.5, Declan Rice 9. What would you give Pukai Sakate with his two goals in his performance? I'd give him a 10 because he got, because he got the, he did, he just, he ran them ragged. Yeah. He, I mean, their left back, he, he, he won't be sleeping tonight. <laughs> he just stuff, he just got ripped to pieces. Every time he got the ball, he looked like he was going to score or do something. And it wasn't just the fact he looked like it, you know, he contributed, you know, with those two goals, with everything and the pace. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And, and also that inspired, I think, the rest of the team. And it just put them on the back foot the whole game. Would he be your man of the match then today? I think Odegaard, it's, 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 
it's one or the other. I don't think you could choose between them. I think it's the, it's Saka's defensive work as well. When he loses the ball, he, yeah, he's so he, he did, he he's intent to get it back. Yeah, 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 which maybe earlier on in the season didn't do as well, but he yeah. did a lot of that. Lot of Team's that. really working hard at the moment. Honestly, let's go to your favourite player, Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, well, I love him. <laughs> Look at this guy's face. Smile like a Cheshire cat. Oh, I love him. I, I know. Be, on the, in the 89th minute, he was just tearing into Burnley players, you know, chasing back. He just, he inspires me. I, I, I watch, to do what? You no, know, I watch him and I think I can play football. <laughs> no, I do, I do. He inspires me to want to get back on the pitch. <laughs> All right, well, he's just, he's my hero. No, that's sweet. So what would yeah. you give him? What rating? I'd always give him a 10. I'll forgive I can't help myself. It's not bias. I love him. Oh, Robbie. Yeah, I'd probably give him an eight yep. today. You know what I mean? Um, he played well. He worked really hard. A um, couple of times, I think, you know, maybe, I think maybe he could have got himself a goal today. But um, at eight, he, like, like Julian said, he really worked hard today. I am worried though that he's starting to inspire him to get back on the pitch. Yeah, that is a worry. I don't know what pitch that's going to be. You know? <laughs> <laughs> let's go to um, let's go to our striker Kai Havertz. Hey, Robbie, what a goal! Yeah. What a goal! Worked hard. You know what I mean? Um, did really, really well. Uh, Burnley fans said over there they got murdered. They did, and uh, and 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 Kai Havertz was a big part of that. You know what I mean? His goal was brilliant. Oh, and um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to give him an eight. You know what I mean? I thought he played really well today. I wish Turkish was here just to find out what he would get. He'd probably give him a six because six he scored goal. a goal. You know what I mean? But no, he played He played well today. Yeah, he deserves that. You can see he's confident. That putting it through the yeah. player's legs oh. and then to put it in the bottom corner of oh. quality. Yeah. Would you agree with that, Ren? I'd give him an eight. I mean, the, the goal was tremendous. So that showed the class. But I'd probably give him a higher mark if I understood football better than I do. Because I think a lot of what he does, you have to really understand the tactical side of the game to appreciate it. And I'm probably not at that level. I mean, I, 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 I sit next to Lee and Lee points stuff out. He's obviously played at a slightly higher level than I have. And he points out some stuff that I don't notice at the but time, the, and my dad does as well. Yeah, the basics from Kai Havertz say were, were tremendous. It, it's the, his touch for me was a bit sloppy at times, but he won so many headers. When the ball, whether it was like the second ball or coming from the goal kick, that was what was important from Kai Havertz today. He, he does this thing where he, when he's playing that false number nine, where he drops back into uh, midfield, yeah. right? And, and helps out, and allows Trossard to then go forward. He, he, he helps that system work. Yeah, Kai Havertz, I think eight's a fair result. Let's go to, let's run through some of the subs. Didn't get too much time. Start with Jorginho. Didn't get enough time on the pitch for me, so I'll give, give him, I'll give him, yeah, I'll give him a five. I've not seen this fella since 89. Was it Anfield, Julian Becker? Oh, yes, sir. He's a proper supporter. He's a good job you've come and endorsed that story because he tells it to everybody. Yeah, no, honestly, he was with me on the phone. I was 17 yeah, years old. Really it really is the best day of my life. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I say. Honestly, yeah. it took seven hours to get out there, right? Yeah. That's a bit of relevant, you know, Julian's been harping on about his uh, 89 story for a very long time. That little guy just came and endorsed it. Yeah. He, so, was, he you know, was sat next to me on the coach. He was at oh, school with me. Unbelievable. Yeah. That is, wow. Well, he he helped me rip the seat out. Yeah, that's what I said. He didn't help him get the seat. <laughs> but I obviously had it. <laughs> All right, let's, let's right, go. We're on Jorginho. Yeah, we're on, right, we're we're on run for the subs. You know what? The subs, right? All Eddie, Jorginho, Reese. subs, like seven. I mean, for me... I mean, it all came on and they, they did all right. You know, we didn't concede. We didn't, didn't, we didn't, concede, we I didn't score. I was upset with Eddie. Oh, I was hoping yeah, to get that six. Yeah. Actually, no, Fair. six for Eddie because he had an easy head header. Yeah. And he should have scored. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but listen, the, the subs came on yeah. and they did their thing. And it's great that we were able to take so many players off. Yeah, seven and six for Eddie. Yeah, yeah six for Eddie because if it wasn't for Eddie, then yeah. we could have at least equaled that record and I wouldn't feel so bad about missing last week. <laughs> oh, I get this out. Let's go to the referee today. Boys, you agree on, on, on the rating? What do you referee give him? Referee had nothing to do, really. It wasn't that type of game. He let the game flow. There was no malicious. I mean, I know one of their players got a bad injury. Yeah. Um, let's hope he's all right, you know what I mean? But um, I thought the referee, no complaints from the Arsenal or Burnley fans today. They'll give him an eight. Eight, eight, it's a high rating. Yeah, I'd give him an eight. I'd give him a higher rate if it wasn't for the uh, booking for Bayaka Saka. Bayaka Saka, yeah. I, I thought that was really harsh. Yeah. That is, but that you is were saying point. at the time he kicked the ball away. Oh, no, no, what no, you no, saying? No, it's no, someone on the guys next yeah, to yeah. us, yeah. If he you did the ball actually, crack, to be yeah. fair, he kicked the ball away. You're not allowed to do that. So... But yeah, I think it was a bit. I mean, of a harsh. I thought personally he didn't, he didn't hear the whistle and he just carried on playing. Yeah, he tried to yeah. shoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's um, let's go to Mikel Arteta. Let's go, Julian. What rating do you give 
the manager today, a 5-0 win, 6-0 last week. It's, it's got to be 10, it has to be 10. It's 5-0 away from home to another Premier League team. Yeah, I'm trying you to... Know, I'm, it, I'm, it, it means to me it's faultless. Straight 10? I'm trying straight, to think of why it can't no, be, but... Be. You go one week, you go away from home, you win 6-0 in the Premier League. Then you go and back it up by winning 5-0. That's a ten. If you don't get 10 for that, you're never going to get 10. Simple as yeah. that. Could have brought on any youngsters in, instead of, you know... Could have done that? He, he, he brought players on. He, 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 you know, it's a perfect game. Away from home. Liverpool have played earlier. They've won 4-1. He responds 5-0. Perfect. Fair. Okay, and then lastly, the fans, Julian. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> fans. Well, yeah, they were okay. Yeah, they. There was a. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. They were there. They was. Yeah, they were singing an arse out. They were brilliant. They sung really well. I was slightly upset by the six foot four guy that was in front of me, oh, which okay. means I missed the, uh, that, that. the that Gabriel thing. So you want to mark us down now? Four for one fan. Six foot four guy stood in front of you. The fans' day today were amazing, you know what I mean? Great atmosphere. The songs, you know what I mean? I, I, the, those guys in front of us who made up that song, you know, mm -hmm. about stadiums get empty everywhere Where we, we go. go. Quality. They were quality, you know what I mean? They were absolute quality, those guys, right? And, and then they got the whole end singing it. Yep. This is what away days are about, yeah. man. Games like this. It's a long old trip to come up here. The team has delivered and so did the fans. Yeah. Ten. They even had a song for Gabriel Magalhães, which he deserves. Yeah, yeah, songs. those so guys. Yeah. Up, yeah, so the big we need, you know what? We need a song for Gabriel Magalhães. Yeah, he deserves. He deserves, he's one. Like, he deserves a big song, man. Let's get a song for Gabriel Magalhães. I want to hear you say the fans get ten because the guy just come and confirmed you. You was there with you in, yes. in, in no, yeah. at Liverpool and for no, that. No, no, look, on. if we're basing the performance of fans on the fact that they came here, which they have, it's a very long way, yeah. and they sung songs. Um, it, it's a ten, but, 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 also, but I also want to give credit to the Burnley fans as well because one thing about this place is it's really friendly we haven't had any issues other yeah. than maybe from one of our own fans yeah well, he, well, the, Bur yeah. well the Burnley fans that left guy, that guy wasn't a fan though that guy was an idiot yeah right but I'll probably give nine and a half right yeah. nine and a half for all the fans that came up here apart from him, him. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree yeah perfect nine and a half for for two and ten for the rest of the fans. Thank you very much for watching this. Make sure you give your ratings on the AFTV Plus app. Like the video if you like the video. And we'll see you again in sunny Porto. <laughs>